Hello and welcome to Fahrenheit 451 Lesson 17, Analyzing and Assessing Claims in an Informational Text. We've been reading Part 1 of Fahrenheit 451 and uh, analyzing the text for literary devices that develop the theme. Before we get into this lesson, let's look at our culminating writing task prompt. How is a theme of Fahrenheit 451 shaped by a literary element or device? To answer this question, you must first determine a theme of Fahrenheit 451, then select the literary element or device you think most strongly conveys the theme, then examine how the selected theme is shaped and refined by the element or device you selected, and finally, write a literary analysis that supports your claims in answer to the question and demonstrates an understanding of the text. Today, you will read The Great Imagination Heist by Reynolds Price. You will analyze and assess the claims in the text and determine how they support the author's purpose in the text. You will make connections between the claims in The Great Imagination Heist and the themes of Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. For this lesson, you will need your copy of Fahrenheit 451, The Great Imagination Heist by Reynolds Price, your reading protocol, conversation stems, and discussion tracker handout, your central idea and theme tracker, and highlighters. On your desk, you have a copy of The Great Imagination Heist. This text has a central idea that is similar to the themes of Fahrenheit 451, so it will help us deepen our understanding of the anchor text in preparation for the culminating writing task. Analyzing the way a writer develops claims, evidence, and reasoning will help you in your own writing. In the culminating writing task and the research essay for the extension task, you will be expected to have clear claims and evidence and reasoning that supports the claims. You will read this text with a partner and you will summarize the text per paragraph in the margins. As you read this text, I want you and your partner to think about the following. What does the author believe about or how our imaginations were shaped in the past? What does the author believe about how our imaginations are shaped now? What is the author's solution? You will have 10 minutes to read this text with your partner. Now you are going to reread the text with your partner. You're going to highlight the text according to the following. You will highlight the claims that Reynolds Price makes in pink, his evidence in yellow, his reasoning in green, and his counterclaim in blue. Remember that the counterclaim is the opposing viewpoint to the claims the author makes. You will have five minutes to complete this activity. <laughs> 